Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked it, Is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was no one of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Serapath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet no one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out to the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. Jesus went away of his town of his people because they don't accept his teachings. They once received the same miracles that Jesus did in other places, for example, Capernaum, as they said. But they don't accept the teachings of Jesus because Jesus is talking about the truth in their hearts. And when they discover that, their reaction is anger fury against Jesus. Sometimes and many times many people had the same reaction before the word of Jesus, before his teachings, because they don't accept the truth. They prefer to live in the darkness, but feel good with their conscience. They prefer that before to live in in the light of the truth. Today the Lord Jesus invites us to accept his teachings, his word, even if we don't like that teachings, even if we don't agree with his teachings, because maybe one of us say, I think I have better options than you, Lord. That's his pride. We need humility and accept his teachings and put into practice his teachings. Not just hear the word of the Lord. Try to live according to that word in your daily life. Thus is our vocation as a Catholic, as a Christian people, to live the gospel outside. Not just listen the gospel, to live the gospel in our daily life, in our daily actions. And that is so hard 
For that reason, we need the grace of Jesus. We need his company. We need his help through the sacraments. For that reason, he instituted the sacraments because he knows that we need his help, his grace. Let us ask to the Lord, Lord, help me to accept your teachings with humility and not reject your teachings because my pride. Let us pray in silence.